Okay, so I am doing a shoot with a Canon 7D and I'm just going to basically do an in interior shoot, one with available light, one with the, f uh, the light sphere as a flash fill, but I'm also going to show you some settings on how to get this camera set up nicely. So uh, I'm just going to go to the menu, quality L, review time. We're going to skip past all this, but we're going to go down here to color space and color space very important to put this on sRGB if you're doing anything that's wet print uh, uh, for example like a conventional 8x10 at a photo lab or if you're going to be uh, dis uh, showing your images on a computer which is probably 99% of all uses you want to go to sRGB rather than Adobe RGB if you set it on Adobe RGB you're going to wind up with um, very dull reds and your violets won't have uh, all of the violet because the gamut of uh, the rainbow of Adobe RGB is out here but sRGB you can only view the center of the rainbow when you set the camera on sRGB you'll get the whole rainbow matched with your uh, your content so that's that now picture style neutral this is really important when your camera uh, when you purchase your camera it's typically on a uh, a portrait style called standard and they've actually increased the contrast um, and sometimes the saturation. We want neutrals all the way across and the reason that is is because if you have any color that's going to be a little bit uh, overbearing like say for example you're shooting roses and uh, the roses you need to have all of the different shades of red if you have the red accentuated too much then the rose will lose its shape because all of the midtones of that the reds are going to turn into very very deep red and the same with contrast if you have the contrast too high the blacks turn super black and the whites turn super white and once that detail is gone you won't be able to get that back okay so what I've got here is um, I've got my staircase and what I'm trying to show in this shot is basically a leading line that's kind of going away from from the shot and because I have a, a 70 to 200 f 2.8 I have it wide open so that it'll compress the subject but also let the rear go completely out of background and that's what I'm looking for I'm shooting on manual uh, manual shutter speed but I'm, I'm shooting on automatic flash which is TTL and the reason that is it's on uh, H which is high speed sync that allows me to shoot basically uh, any shutter speed all the way up to 8000 okay so obviously at 1 8000th of a second we have a completely black image what I want to do on manual mode is I want to just go ahead and creep down the shutter speed until I get a background that I think is pleasing so we're gonna cut this down to and you can actually see it happening right here see that right there see how it's coming in and if I want to show a whole lot of the background I can just keep opening it up so I'm gonna actually shoot one without flash Haley move to your right just a teeny bit a little more we're going to actually capture that light. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Now, really turn shoulders that way and dip that right shoulder. There, let's give this a go. Okay, so this is manual and uh, f2.8. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill with flash. So what I have here is I've got a Photix uh, receiver. It's called a Mitros 2, which has the, the radio built in. And I basically have a light sphere on a stand over there and uh, you can basically see that's the light, light sphere on a stand and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to just add some electronic flash to this to make the background kind of disappear just a little bit so I'm gonna zoom out just a tiny bit so we can capture more of that staircase and here we go make sure I got my flash on and that's 250 and that's with a flash fill so so now I'm going to take it up to 800. Okay, same thing, Haley. Look off. Good. What's nice about this is it can show how we're able to wipe out that, uh, that light that's coming in on the face. Okay, so again, if I want to test it to see how much background I'm getting, I'm just going to turn the flash off and then fire at that shutter speed and you'll see how much background I'm getting. And I'm not getting much. So if I want to do a real smooth flash fill, I'd probably take this thing up to four, maybe 640, right around there. Now let's bring in the flash fill to clean everything up. And this should be my shot right there. Boom, perfect.